This is an interesting story. I've never actually thought about that. So, yeah. Just dead ass. Not, not, not using like the fucking ridge right there. It's hard to see from that angle. That does, that does look good. That's it. I didn't necessarily say it was wrong. <laughs> I was I was genuinely interested. I know how to get over there. You know, you can actually still do this better than Thomas did. He had one fall when he was doing the start, and then he just, you know, got back on and cruised it. Don't tell me that. Just say it. Just show us the results of your training. What are you gonna miss most about the climbing I thought you were putting like watered down mustard on things. You drink it though? What's even worse? Uh, oh the chalk God. on my fingers. <laughs> you can put chalk on your fingers anywhere though. Yo, how full is your chalk bag here? My shoe. Ah, oh, you want? Yeah, let me get some. That's pretty good. How my hands smell after I climb. Yeah, that is a good smell. I take this back. I thought you were gonna wear it. You just took a handful out of it. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to wear your chuck bag. I got, I got uh, a style to uphold. You know who has the matching chalk bag of this chalk bag? Alan. The legendary DJ Heron. We stole them out of the house and found together. <laughs> Swapping chalk with buddies. All right, Kay, are you ready? What am I doing over here, man? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not ready. No, I'm ready. Wait, what? So actually, it started just down on this area here. Uh, there actually wasn't any bouldering. It was just the top rope. And, and they just had like they had, had foam pits in the beginning, it's like just foam blocks and stuff. And, um, and then they filled that in with rubber tires. And then it just kind of carried on like that until I believe it was like 2002 uh, is when Shady Skates closed down. And then they moved up to the, the bouldering area now uh, and made this strictly top roping then. Our friends wanted us to go climbing one day out at Cooper's and we said that's like the stupidest thing ever to do, but we'll come hike with you. And we watched them set up a top rope and that was it. We were hooked. So we came here immediately after that and started climbing in the top roping area before the bouldering area over here was open. There just used to be a tiny strip of bouldering and only the real badass people could do that because it was super hard. And the climbing wall has always been like a climbing wall for training climbing more than it's been just like a be all end all. Like a lot of the newer climbing gyms are really about the like dynamic movement and things that you just don't really do for real. And the climbing wall was always meant for climbers to, to practice climbing when you couldn't be outside. And that made it pretty, pretty different, pretty unique. There was just nothing else for quite a while. You know, I'd say for the first 15 years or so. I mean, nothing even in Morgantown or in Ohio that was close, nothing else, no other gyms. So it just got a lot of people who maybe would never have started outside. It gave them their introduction to climbing. This is where I learned to climb. Uh, so it's been my home gym for all this time. And uh, it's near and dear to my heart. <laughs> so yeah, actually, I, I like the, the camaraderie with, between the staff, the regulars, the climbers. Like, I could come in here any night of the week and either see people I know or make new friends and just socialize, have people to climb with, trade beta with. My favorite thing about the climbing wall has got to be the lead wall. I'm, uh, I'm the biggest one here. <laughs> That's just not gonna happen, but... 
before this end open, oh man, it was crazy busy. Like you couldn't even walk through like the gym half the time. Every wall was filled up in the bouldering area. This was filled up down here. So then kind of once this end open and, and like we kept that core group of people, I feel like we kept more of like the, I don't call them dirtbag climbers. <laughs> uh, like the, I don't know, the guys that are just in it for the climbing or, you know, they just want it for, they just want a cheap gym to go work out so, so they can keep them in shape so when they go outside. I feel like we kept all those, or a lot of those people. Um, a lot of the people that are in it for the workout or for like, you know, for the, to just be at the gym or something like that. A lot of those people I feel like went to Ascend. That was part of the allure for it to me too. Like I like the kind of the, the dirt bagginess, you know, old gym feel of this place. Um, I like being like a museum of different holds and like, you know, just having stuff that people's like, we had a shoe rep come in the one time. He's like, I haven't seen that hold since I was a kid. He's like, that one's from like 1988. And like, he was going like, he was like pointing out holds and stuff from when he was a kid. It was great. about the, the new gym opening up. Are you excited about it or? Yeah. <laughs> it was frustrating that we weren't told that there were talks in place because frankly there's a lot of tribalism between Ascend and the climbing walls that happened, the climbing wall that happened over the years. I mean, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little hesitant. Everybody who comes here, like they come here for a reason and it's because this place feels so cozy. It's been here for so long, and I, I, you can't just recreate that in, you know, a few months in a new gym. Very immediately was bummed out, but um, after I thought about it for a day or two, it was like, uh, well, this place was gonna die anyway, so. No, I don't like it. You don't like it? No. I'm a little sad for the climbing wall closing. I mean, there's, there's a lot of history here. There's a little bit of history here for me, but there's a lot of history here with the climbing community for this gym. Many people I've talked to in Pittsburgh who climb, this is where they started climbing. I don't think excited is the right word. I think I'm starting to face reality that no matter what, it is gonna open, and that I'm gonna try and make the best of it. And ideally, if everyone just kind of keeps the same mentality of who we are as a group and how we want the vibe to be, this can kind of just be Send over to ascend, and we can kind of just create the same feel at the new place as we have here. Basically, they just they did what's kind of in their best interest because with you know that new gym coming in, I mean you can see it from the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, it, it would pretty much shut this place down. Right now, it's it's already kind of at the point where it's just rolling over enough to survive. And if you know a new place like that opens up right next door, we're not going to be able to keep that core group of people in, uh, especially when there's 50 foot walls. And you know it's going to be a state of the art facility. So it's yeah, and it's just a, like if it was on the other side of town or if it was in a different area, then I don't think they would have done the, like the sellout. But just because it was so close. And I don't necessarily blame him a sin for that either. Like we, me and Paul, we're actually looking at different buildings to expand this place at different times. And you, there's just nothing around Pittsburgh. You know, you're kind of stuck with what you got. And you know, that was a place that was willing to work with them. And that's kind of what they had to do. I found climbing at a time where I really needed to meet new people and make new friends and it was really great to be able to do that here and I'm really thankful for all the people that I've met through climbing, especially at the climbing wall. 
This is the place that I go to forget about everything else going on in my life. It's never been just a workout. It's always been, it's always been about the people here. And um, just being with people who are honest, genuine, and great to be around. And I just hope that we'll find that somewhere else. But it's been a, it's been a good ride. Wynn learned how to crawl in the gym, hanging out with Paul, drinking coffee in the morning, uh, from climbing the, with the old guys at night and just hanging out. And Some of the coworkers that I've had are lifelong friends now. Some of the competitions we tried to put on were awesome and fun, even if nobody showed up. Like, we, we had a blast, so. I feel like when I was working here, I found my people and I found like where I belong. This is really an end of an era. Um, there's not too many gyms like this left in the country either, so it's just it's sad to see it go. I just want to say thank you to everyone who really brought me into this and welcomed me and was so, so nice and supportive. I, I literally never thought I would find something like this the first time I came in these doors, and it really means a lot to me. And the only thing I hope and I wish is that we'll all stay together and we'll all keep talking and just because a new gym is opening up it doesn't mean that this will end. It's just going to be from one place to another. I know that it won't be the same as climbing here. Yeah. It sounds on paper like there might be some nice things about it and it will still be nice to have a climbing gym in the area but I'll really miss this place.